Absolutely! Kagurapachi is easily the best release that's come out of this year for all of anime, uh, I think. Kagurapachi is quite unique in the way it's been presented because there really isn't anything like it out there. I think it has more than enough potential. Potential would imply that it has not already capitalized on what makes it so great in the first place. And it really takes someone so, someone a little more creative than Oda to really tie this all together. We know he has appreciation for, for ass, much like Kubo does. He won't fumble. Th there's no fumble potential here. I, I, I cannot see fumble potential in this property because it's just too high. <laughs> what exactly is Kagurabachi? We gotta get into that a little more. It's like Dragon Ball. If it was n without Goku or any of the Dragon Balls in it. I saw I saw a post, I saw, I saw someone with the audacity to say that One Piece and Jujutsu Kaisen were carrying Shonen. This puts the big three to sleep. There is no new big three. Not because there's like how manga culture works in Japan, like no, no, no. There is no new big three because Kagurabachi is the only thing you should be reading. Luffy can't stretch his way out of this one. Naruto can't clone shit. Even when he tried cloning his own anime, it didn't work. Naruto has two animes, and neither of them together make anything close to what Kagurabachi can be. There was only one thing you should be reading, Kagurabachi. If you have to read another thing, I'd say reread Kagurabachi in Mandarin, then edge to it 40 times. One Piece can stretch its way to the top, we gonna knock it back down, let me tell you, we gonna knock it back down. Oh, oh, Netflix, the num number one in what, what is it, 50, 84 countries in the world, something like that, some... Some large number like that? Only took them 25 years. Kagurabachi day one was there. I did everything right and they indicted me. The first chapter has blown away critics' expectations. Their shoes have flown off, pants undone, cock sucked, belt buckle snap, and their Kagura's bachied. But how did we get here? How did this entire image come to be. Strap in your Kagurabachi seatbelts, pop in your Kagurabachi music discs, because we're going for a Kagurabachi field trip. <laughs> Alright, after coming back and reading the Kagurabachi chapter for the first time, I can definitely say that this is the new best gen to come out in a long, long time. Kagurabachi follows the story of Chihiro Rokuhira. In all simplicity, it's just a revenge story from what I understand. But it's not just a revenge story. It's THE revenge story. This kid is the son of a blacksmith. This blacksmith is amazingly adept at forming swords. Uh, the first chapter is a bit slow, is what I would say if I was a fucking beta. Kagurabachi must track down the people who killed his father, from what I assume. The main villains seem to be the Yakuza, from what I assume, and they seem to be controlling Japan, using sorcery and the katanas made by his father, from what I can assume. And, and, and the power is a take a break from the plot. <laughs> Turn the wheel a bit, Jesus, on this one, because let's get to the destination we've all been waiting for, the power system. It's called sorcery. So he just drops in out of nowhere, kills one dude, a single spin. He cuts all three of me, spinning like he's in a fucking musical. He draws his sword. Nah, what do you know? What do you know about- What the fuck was his name again? Because I've heard about his father, Rokuhara Kuneshige. But this guy? This guy? The lifespan of Kagurabachi is nigh infinite. The success of the mangaka is guaranteed. Shonen Jump has practically already been topped. The music labels have broken. The movie's going platinum. And the government's in the To me, it's fairly obvious. It is the new best. It has the new best everything. Anything you could imagine. It is the only thing you should be reading.